Hey guys, today I want to share with you three lessons that I learned from giving up Instagram stories for Lent. So I decided to give up Instagram stories for the 40 plus days of Lent. Um, it was something that I started doing pretty much as soon as I became a health coach with Beachbody. Um, they were just starting to be big at that time, so that was February of 2018. And I was pretty much, um, after the first few months, so probably since April or May, I was pretty much putting up a story every single day. And I really enjoyed it. I was having a lot of fun with it, um, trying new things with it. Uh, I, For probably four or five months there, every single morning I would uh, start out my Instagram story with a video like this and say good morning and just what I'm excited about for the day and I did really like that and I got to um, meet people through stories you know asking questions and answering and messaging and I, I did find it useful so um, I just want to start by saying that but I also realized when Lent came up this year 2019 um, that it was just something that I was doing a lot and I wasn't quite sure that I needed to be doing. Um, and my husband had mentioned to me a few times that he thought it was a bit of a distraction. And so I decided that I would try giving it up for Lent and see how it went. So I did that and I wanted to share with you my top three tips of what I learned there. So what the first thing I learned is that because of stories, I was not being fully present with my family. I thought I was. I thought I that having stories was actually helping me with this, at least with my kids, because I wanted to get cute pictures of them and cute videos with them, and so I wanted to make sure we were like doing fun things. But I always had my phone out, and I know now I'm not hearing Henry say as much to me, Mommy, move your phone. And, you know, you keep hearing that, like, that hurts my heart because I just, I just want to be with my kids, right? And so not having this, you know, need to take pictures, I mean, of course I still take some pictures of them, but not feeling like I have to get them, you know, in a certain pose or, um, and with my husband too, you know, I had mentioned that he said it was kind of a distraction and I've noticed, like, yeah, now instead of every morning, you know, taking pictures of everything step that I'm doing like I can actually just share a meal with him and just be with him so that's one thing I wasn't being fully present with my family the second one was I realized I was just being too attached with my phone I mean we see it everywhere you see those people who are just walking down the street and all they're doing is looking at their phone like you go to any airport any big congregation of people you look around like you see so many people on their phones all the time and I mean I'm totally guilty of it not just because of stories just because you know our phones have everything on them but I don't want to be someone who needs to have their phone and that's how I was feeling um when I was feeling like I need to get these stories up I was like oh my goodness if I don't have my phone with me like what am I going to do? Like, I just had this anxiety and going without it was really nice for that. Like, just not feeling like I had to have my phone for every moment. And it kind of goes with the first one. Like, I could actually be fully present with my family. And then the third thing that I learned um, in taking a break from Instagram stories is that I was putting unnecessary pressure on myself. I was setting the expectation for myself that I had to get up a story every day and I had to make sure it was going throughout the day and I had to make sure I had this certain kind of um, different parts of the story. I had to have video, I had to have whatever and um, and for what, okay? I, yeah, I, I used it to help promote some of the workout groups that I did and some of the coaching that I do, but honestly, like, it, it wasn't necessary to put so much pressure on myself and I don't think that I needed to do it as much as I was and I've just felt now coming off of it like realizing like this past season of Lent I felt a lot more relaxed and have less stress and some of that just has to do with the personal development that I keep on doing telling myself I don't need to feel stressed honestly 
but I think uh, going away from stories has helped. So those are the top three lessons that I learned from going off Instagram stories. I wasn't being fully present with my family, I was getting too attached to my phone, and I was putting unnecessary pressure on myself. So where to go from here? Like I said, I really enjoyed stories and I thought, thought that they were fun and a good way to engage with people and, um, you know, just to show people, like, a more real side to me and, um, you know, outside of just posting. Um, and, yeah, I found it was a good way to, like, really connect with people, but I also found it distracting and so um, I think it's about, you know, it's like anything everything in moderation um so i will put up some stories when i feel like it and i'll talk about the things that i'm doing like as i'm doing them but i'm not going to be putting pressure on myself and i've already decided to take a step back from coaching it's just not as high of a priority for me as other things and so um yeah that's i'm just gonna you know do stories when i want to but not be the kind of person that does them every day because I don't need that and the benefits of being with my family fully present with my family and feeling less stress outweigh any potential you know added coaching client or whatever the case may be you know one more closer connection like there are other ways that I can make connections so just wanted to share with that with you today so I'm Emily, I'm founder of emilyrunsonpassion.com. Every week I'm here bringing you some kind of tip or trick, whether that's related to health or fitness or career, mindset, faith. Um, you know, I'm just here to encourage you, support you, and uh, I just want to put people around me that are going to be encouraging, supporting too. So if you're interested in connecting with me, you can find me on Facebook, Emily Kirkwald, or Instagram, Emily Runs on Passion, or you can go to emilyrunsonpassion.com, see the resources I have there, or um, my blog is where I share a lot of thoughts. Um, I just feel like I'm called by God to empower women to care for and love the bodies and the lives that God has given us. And so that's what I'm here sharing and I will see you here next week.